What's up YouTube, back again with another video. Adam Ventures, crabbing again. This time it's a little different. We got the trout line. I like the trout line a little better than pots. I think you have a way better chance of getting more crabs in pots. I'll just show you a little walk around of what I, what I have here, my gear. This is a 2020 Grizzly Tracker 1648 with a Yamaha 20 on the back of it. Great motor, great boat. Does everything we needed to do. Right here I got my mount for the trout line arm, which is over there in the garage there. Yeah, not a bad boot for what this is. So we actually went out yesterday Used this trout line for the first time and it wasn't too bad. We went back out at Rocky Point, same spot we shot the last video. I thought we were going to get a whole lot more crabs than we did, but we only ended up with 19. So I'm stretching it back out because there's some spots that bait got lost, some spots that were a little bit too far in between baits. So we're going to run it all the way up the driveway here. It's about three times and try to rebate what we lost. It's a tedious job, but it pays off in the end. And yes, I have a cemetery from the 1800s in my front yard. Well, my bait is still really frozen. So while it's thawing out, I'm gonna go swim in the pool. That's a new puppy we just got. He's part German Shepherd and part lab. This is his lab part. <laughs> Good boy. What's your favorite thing to do? Go crabbing. Really? And go fishing in everything I do. Everything you do? Fins Adventure with Dad and Jake and Mom. Fins and Cap and Jacob and Nick. Subscribe for more of our videos. All right, guys, there you go. Added about almost the double amount of bait on it. There's some of it that looked a little questionable. You know what? It's a crab. Crabs eat just about anything. Here's my leftover that I got. I'm gonna take out some pots tomorrow as well. So it should be good. It should be a good time. Well, here we are, guys. It's three o'clock in the morning. We're about to head out. Doing some beef jerky. 
Got down here, got the boat in. Doesn't look like there's a lot of people there. It's a little windy out. Tide's pretty high. All right, you ready? Yep. Good. Yep. Tim, dang, he's a big one too. It's all right. That's a big one. Oh, that was a big one too. Oh, that was two of them. It was two of them on one. <laughs> That's a little one. Dog. One, two, three, four, five, six, but one's a female and that that one's under and that one's undersized. What I don't want to do is keep getting stung. There's there's all kinds. Of, look at all the jellyfish. There's thousands of them. I always left here and I was like, I mean, they are all over the place. Look at them all. Yeah. Yeah, but they're the stinging kind too. Oh yeah, it's got one. So it was open. What, what's our depth? This crab, this crab's huge. Look at the size of that. Open the cooler, Finn Finn. Look at that thing, man. Look at that crab. That is a Maryland crab right there. <laughs> okay. Well, this is a female. We can throw her in the bag. Yeah, but it's open on this side. He's got a broken point, so no, he's not legal. This one and this one and this one. Yeah. This one's not. That one is. And this is another female. You want to throw the female in? It's certainly a beautiful morning. And there's a big crab. Ah, 
That's a big one. They are definitely all keepers. They are definitely all keepers. Like, big, big keepers. Crabs are massive. Oh my god, this one's got two. Maybe we should have got 20 pots. <laughs> we just got as many on pots as we got on the whole trail line on them. We did that last time. like every pot. It's down this way too. always down at the end here. One more, we got a dozen. Five in here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Horseshoe crab. Look, Finn. Ow! That doesn't really count, does it? Oh, yeah, it's got one. There's our dozen. That's a huge jellyfish. Run number two. Dirty crab there. Big crab. Round number three. Oh God! That was a small one. That was a small one. Huge crap. Yeah, that's a big crab. Look at the size of this thing. Yeah, let me sit there, Bob. That is not the crab that you want to grab onto your finger. Go. Let go. We got two. Yeah, there's one in here. Yep. Yeah. Nice crabs, anyway. Four. Yeah. All keepers. That's why. That's a tiny one. Huh? I didn't know you got that many. I felt two hit my net. Never seen. That's a big female. That's perfect rockfish bait right there. That's a huge crab. That's as big as the last one. Yup. That was low. I didn't even feel that thing. 
Say it again. Well, we're heading back in. Not too bad. What we get? Four dozen? Three? Four dozen? Not terrible. I'll try to jump off one of the pier here without, without absolutely eating it. All right, neutral. All right, you ready? Okay. Well, that was graceful. All right, you ready? Yep. All right, hold on. Well, we got all the crabs in the pot. They look good. Man, there's some really big ones in here. They are right there steaming. You can hear them. Oh, I can't wait. I'm so excited. Well, guys, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. We had a lot of fun filming it, and we managed to get four dozen crabs out of it. My dad took two dozen home. We kept two dozen. Now, the one thing I didn't add to this video, which I had gotten a comment on my last video about, was the cooking process of it, how I prepare them. Uh, but if you go to my channel, I have a short posted that actually shows the cooking process of these crabs that we caught. So if you want to check that out, you can. Be sure to like and subscribe and drop me a comment. Thank you for watching.